Welcome to another CAD clip. In this lesson we're going to show you a little introduction to the nice massing studies in our Revit Architecture 2010. Here I've kind of got the finished product. There's a building with some curtain systems etc on there and inside of here we've got you know just a little bit of a building. We've got some levels and grids and stuff already set up in there putting a little bit of a flare on the corner here and we've got our sheet with our different views already pasted into there so I'm going to start by uh, just deleting what I've got in the building so I'm gonna grab all this stuff and delete it once I do that you'll see of course in true Revit fashion that it's going to delete all of that content from the different views so it's gonna empty my schedule my plan view my 3d view and my two elevations from in this view so I'm just gonna kinda of close off that sheet view for the time being I can maximize this view I've got some levels already set up and I've got some grid lines in here so I'll show you how easy this is to do we've got some some grid lines in here with some dimensions If we go to an elevational view we have some level lines and some dimensions and some grid lines nothing complicated going on so this is all you have to do we can start by going to say a level one inside of here and I will go over to my massing and site and we're going to do this as an in place mass rather than a loadable mass which you know has some advantages and then there's some advantages to loadable massing so in place massing we click on there from inside of there we give it a name so we will call this tower a and then we go into the uh, conceptual massing environment from inside of there I can go in and start to create some geometry so I'll click on here I'll create a square that basically goes from here to there and I can go around and you know lock these if I wanna be able to move them later okay after I do that I'm gonna hit escape escape on the keyboard I'm gonna grab that little um, piece of line work click on it and go control C on the keyboard then I'm going to jump up to my level 9 above and from there I'm going to say on my modify tab paste a line current view okay so if I'm in still in the conceptual massing editor and from here I can do this in different views but I'll go to a 3d view and I'm just going to grab these two pieces of geometry using a control button and say create form and I want to create a uh, solid form not a void okay you have to create the this if you're going to create a void you have to create the solid first don't create the void first or it won't quite work so create that then back to level one again now I'll just kind of create what might be an elevator shaft or stair shaft or some sort of core same thing using my rectangle going down to here pick here over to there and then you know lock 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 I'm not going to take the time to do all that escape escape pick on this piece of geometry control C on the keyboard jump up to level 9 modify paste a line current view okay then click out go to my 3d view now what I'm going to do is grab this little piece of geometry and using my control button these two guys go to here and say create void okay it's important that if you're going to have a void and a solid make the solid first before the void okay and now what I can do is just say finish the mass I don't have to join them or anything because Revit is smart enough to know this is a solid this is a void and it's going to create that for me okay from there I can click on this guy and say you know create some mass floors so I click on there it's gonna say these are the levels where do you want them I'm gonna go shift click and turn them all on even though the level 9 is a roof it won't create a floor on the top part of the mass so I can do that anyway click out and now it's created some what would be called mass floors on that tower so I can now repeat it for the other part of my building back to level 1 I'm going to go to massing again and say in place mass if my masses aren't turned on it'll ask me to turn them on and I say tower B hit OK and basically repeat the exercise so I go down use my rectangle command pick on here over to there again lock 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 if I want escape escape click on this guy control C on the keyboard now I'm only gonna go up to level 6 and I can redraw the geometry or I can just go back and do my same paste a line current view and then pick out now I'm gonna grab this guy and take this little corner and drag it to kinda of skew that off and it's gonna to snap to that intersection click out you can try doing some aligning and locking there so now I can go to my 3d view 
preferably done from a 3D view. And then I can grab these two shapes. Again, important to make the solid geometry before the void geometry. And I can just pick on the top half of this and it'll create that piece of solid geometry. Still in the conceptual design. I haven't finished the mass yet. Now I'm going to go back to my level 1 again to create that elevator or core shear wall shaft. So on my level 1, rectangle, pick on here and here and lock 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 if I want escape escape now I can just go to my level 6 I don't have to do a cut and paste do the same thing rectangle from here to here lock 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 if I want go to my 3d view okay and now I can grab this guy and this guy and say create form void form click out now I finish the mass and Revit is smart enough to know this is a solid, this is a void. If they don't intersect, it'll give you an error. Okay? Let's have a look down at our sheet and see how things are going. Down at my sheet, you can see well it's starting to develop my 3D view, my elevations, okay, my plan view, and my schedule is starting to get populated with some floor areas, etc. etc. So that's all good. Zoom out. And then back to my let's go to a 3D view. Let's grab this guy, okay, and say massing floors is going to create some floors at level one, two, three, four, five, six. I can leave six off, it doesn't matter, it's the top of the, the form anyway, it's not going to create a floor there. Okay? So now I've got those inside of there. So now I can go in and start to create some curtain systems. So I can go to my massing tab over here and say model by face, and I'll say curtain system. So I'll say you can only do one uh oops, just before I do that clear the selection. I don't want to do that. I need to join these two guys together. Escape, escape. Back to modify. Join geometry. Join this massing object and this and watch what happens down here. Boom. Boom. It clears that up and creates that nice intersecting between those two massing objects. Now I go back to massing and create my curtain system. One Two, I don't have to use a control button. Three, notice it's 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 doing the right shape based on that last join click, and then create the system. I can also pick a different curtain system type over there, and it's going to create that curtain system for me. Okay, click out, escape, and now I go back and same thing, curtain system. One, two, three, and the little guy here. Four, and create the system and shift middle mouse button get a little different view there oh I missed the front face okay let's do another one here create the system there we go and it missed this one too must not be paying attention and then clear selection and escape and I'm done now let's do the roof go up to here roof pick on that top surface and create the roof pick on this top surface create the roof okay click my modify button done okay now that's it for now and if we go back to my sheet view um, there's my 3d view there's my floor plan there's my south elevation there's my east elevation and if you click over here okay you're going to see the different um, floor systems that I created one two three four five six seven eight and one two three four five okay and there's the floor area there's the floor perimeter there's the floor volume and exterior surface area and that just happens to be the fields that I added to my particular schedule so there's a quick lesson on how you can create and use massing studies in Revit Architecture 2010 <laughs>